Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So tonight we're off to the Hope Mill Theatre for the press night for Julie the Musical. I don't know entirely what this is about so I'm really excited to see it. It's a musical we've not seen before and it should be really good and it's the first press night I've been to at the Hope Mill Theatre as well so it should be fun. Lawrence is coming with me today uh, which is good because we don't often get to go together so yeah it should be a really fun night. Obviously I'll show you what I can and then I'll review the show when I get home as well so yeah I hope you enjoy this little vlog. So we're just at the tram stop now, we literally just missed one. Yeah. <sighs> Next one's in nine minutes but we might get the berry one instead and then walk from the berry walk from the market street to piccadilly gardens because you can get the ones there so i think we're gonna do that aren't we as long as we get there before half past we need to get there before half past you have the time of your life every single night the confetti's raining down you put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd, you're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that, what glitter is in gold. I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own. But I hate being on the outside, looking through a window. I say I don't want it, but I'm so- So we are now at Piccadilly Gardens. I think it's about 10 to 7. Yeah, no, well, nearly 5 to 7. And the tram is doing three yes. minutes. Three minutes, I think. And it's about 10 minutes on that. And then a five minute walk. So we hopefully get there for quarter past seven. That's what I said. Yeah, about quarter past seven. So I'll have just enough time to do a bit of filming before the show starts. So, not too bad. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody be ooh, 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 ooh. So it's one minute past seven We've just arrived at New Islington Station And it's just a five minute walk from here So we should get there for about five past Plenty of time I wanna be the life of the party I wanna hold on to somebody be because my parents thought they were picking the kids up at half six instead of six and plus we, I didn't realise they were taking them to their house I thought they were staying at our house so when they finally got here we had to pack a bag for them so we were a bit running quite late but we've made it here with plenty of time have we what time is it going? Is it like 10 past? yeah it's only 10 past so there's 20 minutes before it starts so we've got some time to sit down we got lucky with the trams time we did get very lucky with the trams <laughs> luckily Lauren said we'll oh, get the berry one and we'll just walk from Market Street to Piccadilly Garden because if we, if we hadn't done that we would still be waiting wouldn't we because the Piccadilly one got in one minute after 
this tram that we got to get here, so yeah. <laughs> Lawrence is flying away. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a quick look at the programme, and then obviously when we go in, I'll show you the view from where we're sitting. But we're looking forward to it. I love the Hope Mouth Do you like the Hope Mouth Lauren? Yeah, I like this whole small theatre. It's yeah. nice little intimate theatre. So. Yeah, we've been here a few times. You get times. a very good you're all close to seeing the show yeah, you're out of the way but we're on road D yeah. um, so it's practically there's only one wheel so you get a, you are close yeah. to the show and you can see everything yeah. and it's nice that Lauren gets to come with me today it's yeah. very rare that you get to come with yeah. these also, days yeah. so we're looking forward to it so obviously we'll let you know what we think of it in the interval and then we'll do a full review when we get home so if you do get to the Hope Mill Theatre early enough, they do oh, they do actually sell food, you get food and drinks, so they do like light nibbles and they do pizzas. Last time we came, Lawrence and I got a pizza, which was quite nice and yeah, they do quite a few different drinks and things. So yeah, if you come in, come a bit early and you want food, you can always get some food here. So I'm just going to have a look at the program now because Lawrence has been hogging it. <laughs> have a look through here. Obviously I'll show you properly when we get back later but oh, looks like a nice program. Not a lot in it but yeah, looks good. In the auditorium, in our seats, we're on row D, seat 13 and 14. I'll just show you the view from our seat, it's a really good view, but you get a really good view really from anywhere you sit in this theatre. But yeah, really looking forward to it at the start. I think it's going to start in 10 minutes, so I'll get back to you in the interval and let you know what we think. I'm enjoying it. I'm playing it. It's really good. good. It's really funny. I love all the songs. All yeah, the songs are I really good. It's, good. it's comedy. It's yeah, it's very funny. I'm really looking forward to the second half now. Obviously, we'll tell you a lot more about it once we yeah. home, but Don't worry, it's so far, the story. Yeah. it's different. So far at the interval, we're really loving it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just talk about the opera that I know then. So, um, has anyone heard of Madame Butterfly? Yes. That's interesting because I actually haven't heard of Madame Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, has anyone heard of. Yeah, you're late. Come back in. Thank you very much. Go sit your Quickly grab your seat. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. It literally hasn't started yet. I'm just like slotting in. Um, okay, what other, what other shows are there? Uh, oh, does anyone know? Um, there's a Mozart one, it's called, uh, what's it called? 
<laughs> What's the Mozart one for? Magic flute. That's the one, the magic flute. Um, there's that song in it that goes. Thank you. Um, what other shows? What other shows are there? Oh, um, Carmen goes like this. There's a song from it that goes like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's, that's like a banger in the clubs back in the day. Like, that was, that was, that was, I would get lit to that song. Don't, don't you even know? Um, uh, what other shows? What other shows are there? Oh, I have some. Actually, I have some trivia. Here's some trivia. Welcome to the trivia section. Um, so, did you know? Fun fact: Judy Mopan uh, famously was the first ever lady to sing contralto, which means she sang very low. Well, actually, she was a woman, so it would be like, very low, very low. Um, uh, but uh, I have, a, I have a, a secret for you. It's a secret. I was like, shh, secret. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, because I was her best friend. So um, I know everything about her secretly, which they wouldn't write in the history books. And actually, the reason why she was the first uh, contralto singer was because she was addicted to her. Like so addicted, like oh my god, you couldn't get her off it, and so like her voice was just like broken, like like she could only speak like this. That's, that's why she sang contralto. Um, so yeah, fun fact. Um, what else can I say? Oh, here's a song. Here's a good song. Um, this is the song that I learned when I was learning how to sing. Excuse me. It would be really loud and really disrespectful during my like my one-to-one -one session with the audience. So would you mind just like shutting up? Thank you. Um, yeah, there's one song that I used to, I learned how to sing with, and it goes like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> that wasn't a song, but thanks for laughing. Um, it goes like this. Okay, whatever, shut up. Um, it goes like this. If you want to sing opera, you have to have your opera. And if you want to sing opera, you do for Hometown of Manchester. We are the wonderful Hobo Theatre. Um, I did just want to say a few words just uh, at the end of the performance, just because um, we're raising some money for Mind in the uh, in the bar in the hallway through there. Um, Mind is a great charity that does a lot of resources for people that really need it. I personally lost a friend last year, and um, she took her own life. Um, Mind is something that is very important to people, especially. Oh no, I'm gonna. <laughs> Sophie's like, I'll be here if you start breaking down. She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but 
yes, if you can give any money at all, uh, we'll have collection boxes through there, and um, thank you very much. Indeed. And I'm also here just briefly for another charity, Hope Mill Theatre is an independent grassroots venue that does amazing work. It supports companies like us, but also local adults and young people to explore creativity and actually access it. There is a touch point outside, whatever you can give matters, and if you can't give, share about Hope Mill Theatre, come see shows, tell your friends, tell your enemies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for our next tram. Let's do it for four minutes. We're a lot later than we thought we were going to be, weren't we? It seemed to be overrun, didn't it, the show? I don't know. It's it should have finished by half nine. I don't think it finished till nearly ten. I'm not sure how it ended up running over. Um, but yeah, we're running a little bit later. Tom and Bon will be back home for half ten. So <laughs> we're not going to get home till eleven. But uh, never mind. is now the next day we didn't have a chance to review the show when we got home last night because our kids were still awake and we had to get them to bed um but i thought i'd review the show for you now i apologize for my eye my son poked me in the eye and it's got an infection in it so yeah just ignore that i've got antibiotics for it but it just doesn't seem to be going down obviously last night we went to the press night for julie the musical it was on at the Hope Mill Theatre. It's running there till the 24th of June. And they did have some merch for the show. I didn't think it would with it being a small show. But they did have some merch. So they had, I'll just read it off here. They had programmes which were £4. Badges for £7. Uh, set of free badges for £15. Patches for £7. Earrings for £10 fans for six pounds which i was very tempted to get a fan because it was very hot in there um i don't think they have air conditioning in there or it wasn't on but it was very very hot in there um tote bags for 10 pounds key rings for six pounds and poster prints for 10 pounds now i wish they would have had a magnet because i would have bought a magnet um there's nothing there maybe i should have bought a badge and turned it into a magnet should have done that shouldn't i yeah but yeah they need to get magnets because a lot of people collect theatre magnets so i didn't buy any merch if they had a magnet i would have bought a magnet um i did get gifted a program obviously because i was there as press so i did have i do have a program um so for the show we were sat on row d seat 13 and 14 so on the the, the, um, the seats that are on the far left side and the aisle seats be next to a wall uh, but the view was really good the thing with the hope mill theater because it is only a small theater literally you sit anywhere in there and you get a really good view um it's a really intimate space as well so it's a really lovely venue to see a show so as we walked into the auditorium, we could see the stage all set up and that sort of excited me. It looked really good, really simple. It sort of had like a lot of props lay about. Um, I think it's supposed to look like the backstage of a theatre, like the backstage area, which has all the props up. It also had all instruments out on the stage as well. And there was a lot of different instruments, saxophones, flutes, guitars, drums, um all sorts of different instruments they were using um before the show also the the, the cast came on to the stage and they were talking to some of the audience and um which i thought was really nice and having a little conversation with them sort of sort of like a little pre-show that they were just chatting to the audience um then obviously it started and i have to say it's quite a chaotic musical what do you say lawrence very chaotic sort of erratic sort of jumps because it's jumping from different periods of time in Julie's life the, the main, main character yeah, the big yeah, pop points 
So all of them have to play multiple different characters. Yeah, all the cast play multiple roles. So, so yeah, the musical is based on Julie Daubigny, who is or was a French opera singer, swords woman. She um, dueled with swords, and she was also a bisexual. So she's actually a real person in history. She's a real historical figure. So this is based on her actual life uh, it's mostly factual they have put a f they've put one bit it says is in there that isn't factual um well, and obviously they've played up the story a bit as well, well so you don't know what she's thinking though it's all interpreted yeah it's an, um, interpreted, but the, so the events were all real they're all recorded in history um and yet she this woman lived a very chaotic life didn't yeah. she she did a lot of stuff um she was a mistress, what, at age 14? Age 14. 13. She was married at, what, 15, 14. 14. Um, she ran off with someone. Swordsman. Swordsman. She fell in love with uh, a woman who became a nun. She then um, took vows to become a nun so she could find this woman. Um, ended up setting fire to a convent. Um, she did a lot of stuff. And... As I said, it, the, the musical was quite chaotic. Um, there was only five cast members, but they played multiple roles. They also all played all the instruments. instruments. This cast is extremely talented. I mean, they played, some of them were playing like the flute, the saxophone, the guitar. Paul bassoon. Uh, they were even playing kazoos. A blow piano, handheld, yeah. dirty blower. I mean, super talented, this cast, I have to say. So yeah, a very talented cast. They had a lot to do. Um, music, uh, playing instruments, playing multiple roles, um, and yeah, it was it was it was a great night out. It was really funny as well, wasn't yeah. it? Really funny. Um, obviously, I said it was a bit chaotic, so it did jump a bit at times. I found it a little bit hard to follow, but that sort of didn't matter. It's sort of how the musical is meant to be it's supposed to be like like her life her life was chaotic so the musical is chaotic and I, I quite enjoyed it it was very funny as well lots of funny moments in there and I would definitely recommend it we had a great night out didn't we Lauren yeah well the story the play is played told from Julie's so the character is playing her own play and she's telling the audience how yeah, life right, yeah. it is but yeah, yeah it jumped for on points and then she would go to back once or twice, she would go back to, oh, I didn't explain that to you. And they would play an explanation of why she knows this person and all that. Yeah, so it did sort of jump backwards sometimes and forwards. Um, but yeah, we, we had a great time. And the music in this, I have to say, is so good. It's really catchy. Um, I loved it. I would definitely go and see this musical again. Would you, Laura? Yeah, I quite enjoyed the songs. And, uh, yeah. Play itself, I found it quite yeah, entertaining. It was really entertaining, a great night out, definitely recommend it. I would definitely go and see it again because that some of them songs were, were really, really good. And like I said, the cast were just absolutely amazing as well. So the play so it was supposed to be two hours and fifteen minutes long, wasn't it? Mm. Including the interval, or was the interval supposed to be extra? I think it said yeah, including. Thinking. So it started at half seven. Minutes, so yeah. it should have finished around half nine. But I don't think it ended till nearly ten o'clock. I'm not sure how it overrun either because uh, it might have. I think it started a little bit late, maybe, and then maybe the, did the interval overrun? Do no, you think? Or maybe think. they were things went on longer. Yeah. It so it did overrun. Um, um, but yeah, it's supposed to be 2 hours and 15 minutes long, including a 15 minute interval. So I do have a programme, so we can look through the programme now and I can show you uh, the very talented cast. Okay, so this is the programme. It's a really nice programme. It's like a glossy uh, cover, so I quite like that. It says it's the Lee Gasp Productions. And it's funded by the National Lottery uh, Arts Council. So, look at the inside cover. It says, Worshipped opera singer, renowned swordswoman, and flaming bisexual. So, this tells you a bit about Julie Daubigny, Daubigny and... 
this is the writer's notes so Abby Bradbury who wrote the musical so she's got some notes there to read about how she wrote the musical and then you have the timeline of Julie's life as you can see she did a lot in her short life because she actually died at age 33 but she did a lot in those years so you can see she was born in 1673 uh, she became Count de, de Manse, uh mistress at age 14 uh, what other things are on there that you might be interested in uh, she set fire to a conference And yeah, lots of things there. She attempted suicide. Lots of things there uh, about Julie's life. I don't want to tell you everything because I obviously don't want to spoil the show, but yeah. And so this is the rest of the cast. You have Sophie Coward. Uh, she plays a bass, sax, flute, percussion and kazoo. So I think she was in the original cast of Julie the Musical as well. And her recent things that she's done, she's been in the Tin Foil Astronaut. And she's also an aerial skills artist as well. So this lady is so super talented. She really is. And then playing the lead of Julie, we have Sam Kearney Edwards. Uh, they played the guitar, ukulele, percussion and kazoo. Sam was also in the original cast of Julie the Musical. Uh, I think she played Marie in that. And they were excellent in this. Really, really good. I thought they made a great Julie. They were also an amazing singer. Uh, I thought they had an excellent voice. Uh, really enjoyed the performance of Julie. Then you have Fabian Soto Pachot. I think that's just how you pronounce it. He played guitar, percussion and kazoo. So he has done some professional work in Costa Rica, um, which include singing as a soloist with the Philharmonic Orchestra of Costa Rica and several solo concerts as well. Then you had Georgia Leila Stoller. Uh, she played guitar, sax, percussion and kazoo. Uh, so Georgia's a South African born actress. Uh, and she performed professionally there. So she's done a few things whilst training, as you can see there. And then you had Alexander Tilly. He um, played the accordion, the bass, clarinet, percussion and kazoo. He also kept us all entertained during the interval as well, which was really good. So he's been in As You Like It at Shakespeare's Globe. Our Island at um, Primary Shakespeare Company and Grad Tidings as well. So it says here instrumentation and harmonies were created and arranged by the cast. So as you can see here, the writer and director is Abby Bradbury, uh, producer is Connor Dye, and I've got the rest of the creatives team. That's the rest of the programme. So I gave this show four stars, excuse the uh, little child in the background, but I gave this show four stars. It was such a fun night, really enjoyed it, can't recommend it enough. Go and see it if you can get to the Hope Mill Theatre. If not, it is on tour. Um, I'll link down below the... I'm really sorry. I'll link down below the Julie... This is what happens when I try... This is what I try. This is what happens when I try and film when my children are at home. Um, I will link down below the Julie website where you can see where it's touring. To. I'll also link down below the Hope Mill Theatre so you can so you can get tickets for the Hope Mill Theatre shows as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.